there is a huge announcement at the end of the video so make sure you watch the video till the end three months of 2024 have already passed and if you aren't utilizing your time wisely my friend we have just the thing for you if you want to be a software developer learn coding and better your skills watch this video till the end did you know that in 2024 237 companies have laid off about 58,000 employees out of which 34,000 was in the month of January alone and we're just four months into the year. If you look at the statistics alone, over 25,000 companies after COVID have laid off over 450,000 of their workers and these are the official statistics. If you talk about the real numbers, they're much higher. 2022 and 2023 were considered the years of layoffs. But the trend doesn't seem to be ending in 2024. Companies are consistently letting their employees go and are cutting down their workforces substantially. Practically every month, we hear about big tech companies conducting layoffs, lower funds in the market, and inflation in the US, and so on and so forth. And in this race of layoffs, the leading companies are Amazon, Google, Meta, and Microsoft, the dream companies of so many students. And if these companies, the bigger fishes in the tech industry, are struggling, then just imagine how the minor companies must be faring. It's not that these companies aren't faring well. That may have been true post-COVID era, but these companies are now continuously making profit. In fact, Google announced record profits this year. However, they're still conducting layoffs, citing that they don't need a large tech force to sustain and function. The current market scenario is tougher than ever and demands only high quality tech force. For that, you must be among the top engineers to ensure that you're not one of the people getting laid off. Since all the major tech companies are doubling their investments in AI, it's causing all the engineers and students out there to wonder if the field as a whole is going to collapse soon. Will AI truly replace tech employees and make tech work redundant? These AI models are improving day by day, claiming that they can replace full-time software engineers. And it might hold true, but only for the mundane and repetitive tasks. Even in coding, AI can only do the small micro assignments easily. More complex tasks like finding the right tech stack, analyzing business requirements, and finding the right code bases to fit in is something that's out of AI's reach till now. Experts say that is something that it can't do and won't be able to do in near future too as it requires ownership. Currently, if given a fairly complex code, ChatGPT would either give a buggy code or fail altogether. In case of a buggy code, it would need a review engineer to look after it. As the famous saying goes, AI will not replace you, the person using AI will. Which basically means that you need to be the person using AI. You need to be the person who can analyze the needs of a business and use AI to optimize their work. That's how you will stay a relevant engineer in today's tough times. Coming to the main question, will recession ever end? And if yes, then when is the job market going to go back to normal? Is it still good enough to make a career in it? Or will everything soon be redundant due to boom in artificial intelligence? Firstly, nobody knows when this recession will end and when situations would come back to normal. But one thing everybody knows for sure is that the situation will come back to normal and hirings will begin. Therefore, it is in our best interest to work hard for this phase and continue upskilling and becoming better engineers. One thing is for sure, if you prioritize upskilling yourself, opportunities will definitely make their way for you because there's always space in the market for skilled engineers. Since there are fewer opportunities, our job is to utilize them to the best of our abilities. We must not despair in these tough times because the time would surely get better. But we must be ready to grab out all the job opportunities out there. Since job security is no longer a surety in the tech industry, we must be on our toes the entire time and be ready to grab out any job opportunity we have. Of course, our target is Mang, Fang and other big companies, but we should also have some side hustles that give us some side income. We can do freelancing, try out remote work opportunities, work as an AI ML engineer, learn more skills about blockchain and web development. This way, we would have a stable side income to back us up while we go for our dream job. Therefore, you will not have to work continuously for a job and you will have a some set of high options, well sought out skills and a very high backup income. Overall, I'll give you a few practical tips to stay relevant in this ever evolving tech industry. Embrace the change. In today's ever-evolving tech landscape, it is essential to be versatile and embrace the change. You need to have an adaptable skill set. Don't limit yourself to one programming language or one technology. Instead, diversify your skill sets and learn as many languages as you can. Focus on soft skills. While your technical skills are essentially important, you should never overlook your soft skills. Skills like communication, teamwork are absolutely essential and would set you apart and your employers would definitely notice it. Building a personal brand. 
establishing a strong online presence through multiple websites like LinkedIn, GitHub or live deployed personal websites to showcase your skills, projects and achievements can help you stand out in front of employers. Stay informed about the industry trends. Keep yourself informed and up to the date about the latest industry trends by following a good tech influencer, subscribing to tech publications and attending many networking events. This will help you make informed career decisions and always stay on top of any tech news. Cultivate a growth mindset. Adopt the mindset of continuous learning and growth, seeing challenges as an opportunity to develop in personal and professional fields. Be open to feedback, seek out learning opportunities and always strive to better your own knowledge. Seek mentorship. Find experienced professionals or mentors who can provide you the guidance and support as you navigate through your career path. A mentor can offer valuable insights, help you set goals and offer their shoulder during challenging times. If you weren't able to find one, Geeks or Geeks is always here for you to guide you through your tech journey. Take care of your well-being. In this fast-paced tech industry, it is very easy to neglect your physical and mental health. In a situation like this, you should always maintain a healthy work-life balance, exercise regularly and take breaks whenever it is necessary. By incorporating these additional points into your career strategy, you can position yourself for success in this competitive field of tech and always adopt a mindset of growth and success. Now we correctly understand why we need upskilling given the recent recession phase of the tech industry. Still students are lagging behind, aren't able to upskill or code. Why are they lagging behind? Why exactly are students not consistently coding? Students lack the patience to learn stuff required by the industry and the further motivation is reduced by the news of layoffs out there. This causes them to finish their coding journey before they even start. Let's dive deeper into the root cause of these issues. Lack of patience. In today's world, instant gratification has become the mantra, pretty much the end result. However, mastering coding requires a lot of dedication and patience. Students lack this very patience and want immediate results and get frustrated when they don't see them. This causes them to drop coding altogether. Lack of motivation The uncertain job market and the constant news of layoffs can dampen the student's motivation to learn coding. Facing the prospect of tough competition and limited job opportunities, they may question their desire and value of actually investing their time and effort into coding. The lack of motivation can lead to procrastination and eventually leaving this coding journey behind. To overcome these challenges and succeed in learning how to code, students can adopt these following strategies. Set realistic goals. Instead of focusing solely on landing a job immediately, set realistic small-term and long-term goals to upskill. Break down this learning process into smaller milestones and celebrate each achievement along the way. Develop a growth mindset. Embrace the idea that learning is a journey and setbacks are an opportunity to grow. Have a positive mindset about setbacks and always view them as a chance to become better in whatever field you're working in. Cultivate a positive attitude towards challenges and view them as an opportunity to improve all the time. Find support and accountability. Surround yourself with a supportive community of peers, mentors and online forums like Geeks for Geeks where you can post your experiences, seek guidance and share your journey. Having someone to hold you accountable can help you stay committed to your learning goals. Practice consistently. Consistency is the key to mastering coding skills. Set aside a dedicated time each day and week to practice coding, even if it's for a small period of time. Regular practice will help reinforce concepts and help you build confidence over a period of time rather than mugging it up in a few days. Keep up to the date with latest industry trends, technologies and job market demands. Constantly seek opportunities to expand your knowledge and adapt to the changing environment of tech industry. By adopting these strategies and addressing the underlying issues of patience and motivation, you will plan for success as you will always be ready for the ever-evolving landscape of the tech. So, is there any solution to this? Well, yes, Geeks for Geeks has identified this problem and come up with a solution. Geeks for Geeks has an amazing variety of courses on their website, be it from full stack development to data structures, from interview preparation to programming languages, be it system design or DevOps, we have a course for you. If you want, you can up your tech stack skills by learning machine learning and generative AI and many more to give yourself an edge over your competition. And coming to the topic of prices, 
If we compare these prices to any other courses out there at average value, you would realize not only does GFG have premium quality courses, they're also at almost half the price of the market value, making them extremely affordable and student friendly. GFG has made this even more fruitful by introducing the 390 challenge. So what is this challenge? Well, you get to pick any course from GFG website. It's valid for the first 90 days where if you finish 90% of the course, you'll get a whopping 90% refund, making its effective cost only 10%. Hence, 390. The challenge does not only make it pocket friendly for students and freshers, you also get added benefits like one-on-one -on -one mock interviews and job assistance. And it doesn't end there. Job assistance includes exclusive review of your resume and amazing, exciting job opportunities. Geeks for Geeks has a dedicated job portal too, where they organize coding contests and based on your ranking, you'll be getting interview calls. The faculty who will be teaching you these courses are not just trained instructors, but experienced engineers from the industry itself, who will make you industry ready to get the job that you want with all of the practical skills that they have. So, whether you're a student who's just out of college or a working professional looking for a switch, these courses will help you achieve your goal in a structured and formatted manner where you wouldn't have to hunt for resources that you need, rather just focus on upskilling and developing those skills. So, isn't it amazing to have all your needs fulfilled in one place? Top-notch courses, mentoring, job assistance and a fulfilling motivational challenge to complete all of it. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in description and access all the amazing course Geeks for Geeks has to offer. You know, a lot of students are taking the 390 challenge and getting ahead with amazing skills at their hands, all of whose testimonials you can now see on the screen. 500 plus refunds have been processed and you can be the next to take this chance and upskill yourself. Finally, make sure to tag us to show us any progress that you make with hashtag commitwithgfg be it any platform, X, Instagram or LinkedIn. Lastly, I hope this would help you in your journey and stay tuned for more such videos. See you later.